Hey guys, it's Kathy again. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to be painting my rabbit for my eyeglass, rabbit eyeglass holder. Uh, I've been painting, so there's already colors on my paint palette. Only thing I'm gonna add is pink and it wouldn't come out, so I'm gonna use the lid. Hmm, do that often. Got my brushes that I wanna use. Um, here are, Body parts. Here's how the rabbit looks. I would say unpainted, but um, he's spray painted white. Uh, that's my base coat. I want to do a white rabbit. So that's what we're going to work with. Again, uh, his snout area. These three pieces will be glued together, but I am not going to paint them. So I'm going to set them aside. They will not be seen except for the edges. And I like to paint the body first. Um, don't worry about that. That's not going to be seen because it's going to be under here. I am going to do some stuff on the ears here. I painted the back white and spray painted. Anything I can spray paint and get by with, I do because it's so less time consuming. Uh, this video should be a little quicker because my white bunny rabbit should be easier to do but um i'm going to do the part that's going to be seen under the ears which i'm going to go with uh, a little bit of pink pinkish whitish color so let me tap on some pink there and get some white i'm going to kind of just plop plop and I'm going to throw this up under here. And, you know, you do the same thing on both sides. But I might just come in with pink under here. And then come back and put in this. Is the only thing I'm going to, well, now I'm going to use pink on the around the nose mouth area too. But, so, anyway, I'm going to put this on here. Pink. Put that aside. Come back to it and I'm just going to put a little bit of white under there. Kind of a fur showing through or fur strokes and white just to tone it down. Because the pink is actually his skin or his flesh <laughs> showing through the fur. But I want it to stand out a little bit against the white, but not too much. Which you can do it however you want to. If you want it more, then that's fine. Um, even though my bunnies can be white, and you can do it solid white and, and do it and get by with it. But you know me, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail. Um, I'm going to brush, get the pink out of here. I did rinse it because I don't want pink in this fur. Now I want to dry. I'm just drying the brush on the paper towel as much as I can and it's going to give me lots of little open bristles to do this. Um, even though you have a white rabbit, which a lot of it I'm going to leave white, just solid white because it's just easy to do that way, but sometimes it's not just white that you see, uh, you, you see a little gray, so I'm just going to take a little black and a little white and mix it and get a little that's actually pretty dark um, get a little gray color going and I'm just gonna put some strokes in and even if let me tell you put some extra paint here on the tab because my slots are but even if you come in with white uh, acrylic paint over top of your white spray paint, you're going to get some strokes because it's going to be a different color white. So it's, you know, there you go. You s different colors and you see the strokes. Um, I didn't get as much spray paint down here around the bottom, but that's okay because I'm coming here with this 
and brush brush let that dry I'll do the flip side on it um, I don't know what I got here on the front of him but you know what I'm just gonna come in with the white put some strokes in here up to where his head's on and you're not going to see it. So just putting the white on the white is going to give you a little dimension. And um, I'm going to just do a little tap tap with some of that gray and just put some around the around the edges and then just a little bit on the inside and on the bottom is his feet because his feet can't be clean not completely anyway and I'm just going to come back in with a little bit of white strokes there and front side done let that dry we'll do the back side um this is this one's going to go together a little different than the other ones that i've done too because his body that goes on top of there his body connects into the back of there and then it's going to sit <laughs> here on the back so his back feet stick out i know a little weird but um that's what it's going to be i'm going to put extra paint on these tabs so they fit a little tighter. I'm going to put clear on that'll seal it in. All right, let me get this. Uh, and I'm really not going to do much here. A little bit of white strokes. Throw a little gray in, in there and that's going to be done. So I'm going to call that one done this dry flip it over and do the back of it this one's about dry we'll do this one um, and I'm not again get some more white but it's just a matter of I'll put some strokes up going up on the back of the ears of white Like I said, where I get the more detail from, uh, it's going to be on the face, and that's what you're going to be seeing. Then I'm going to put some strokes going down the back, just trying to give it a little bit of dimension, a little bit of fur look to it. I don't know where. I got something on there. Get off of there. All right. There you go. Back's done. Let that dry. You can flip this fella over and do back side of it. Okay, and then we'll get to the face last. Try and get that dry. I'll come back and do that. Let me go ahead and put some extra paint on these tabs. Like I said, I got a new batch of wood and it's just a little off on the size uh, thickness. So my tabs aren't fitting as tight as I'd like them to. And since I ship them flat, I like them to be able to, to put them together without glue. All right. So call that out. I'm going to go in with the, the white and just do some strokes. Just 
to simulate fur. And the white on white is, is just going to give it some dimension and you know if you want a nice fluffy cotton tail <laughs> do maybe do a little stippling on that and then I'm just going to bring in a little bit of I lost my gray. Well, that's a lot of black. Let's take some of that off. All right, that is a lot. Okay, so I'm just gonna come in with a little bit of gray. Just to simulate strokes, all right? body's done. Let's get to the face. Um, the snout. Here. And the ears. Uh, and I'm kind of okay with, maybe he's going to have, maybe he's going to be more gray around the ear. So I'm going to leave that gray in. I was getting ready to take it out, but I'm going to leave it in and see what kind of strokes I get with leaving the gray in. And because I've scored some fur line here, just to give it a little dimension, if you're going, you know, solid one color, it's gonna give you a little dimension. And the, the way I get, like I get white on the tips, brush back, and as I get here to the top, I just push down on the farther up the brush to get more of that color out. So I'm going with white down here, and then I'm gonna push down a little bit harder to get some of that gray, gray up there. And I've got that in there, and I can even come back, if it's, if it's too dark, come back with the white, and put some first strokes on top of that all right there we go and on his face I want him more white so I'm going to take some of the paint out of the brush and I'm just literally wiping it back and forth on the paper towel and I'll use the paper towel can I, until I can't use it anymore. Before I get a new one. And in his face, I'm just going to do some white first strokes on top of the white. Like I said, just for that dimension. So the biggest thing on this guy's, this little fella's face is gonna be his eyes and his snout. And I went ahead and scored some whiskers that go out into them. And you could come in with the white, if you're doing white or whatever color and get in those score lines, or you can just let them stand out like I'm gonna do there. And I'm gonna get in here and on the snout, I'm gonna do the white strokes, but I'm also, it goes that way, I think I, I have, anyway, that, that would have been upside down, but it goes that way, so I don't know what, don't know how I had it to begin with, but I'm putting some strokes in here and go back to that gray that has dried up now. Get some more, constantly doing this, but I'm gonna put on a little bit of a gray chin here and just some 
strokes coming out from his snout there. And even, actually, I'm going to do some stippling here because he's going to have little whisker marks. So, then I'm going to come back with white on top of the gray. Give it that dimension. I don't want it too, too dark. Okay. All right. That's good. Now, I'm going to switch over to my small brush so I can do my eyes and my nose. So I'm going to go with the small round brush and I'll do the pink first since it's lighter color. I'm going to give them a little bit of a pink nose, pink. Pink nose and pink towards the mouth that white albino I'm just gonna bring it down just a little bit into those couple of lines and maybe across those lips a little bit just the pink and I was gonna put some white over that but I don't think I'm going to I think I'm gonna leave it pink like that okay and that's all I'm gonna do well and I'm gonna do a little pink, just a little pink around his eyes a little bit. You know me, I gotta do a little detail. Just cause he's that white color, that albino color, he's gonna have more pink than your other bunnies. So with the skin throwing, showing through the fur. So it's just a little pink around his his eyes, you know, I'm gonna be done with the pink. Cause his eyes, you know, there are bunny rabbits that have the red and, and pink eyes, especially the white ones. Um, I just think it's a little kind of creepy. So I want my bunny to have big black eyeballs. And that's what he's gonna have. So I just dipped in the black. Get those eyeballs colored. And this guy, just like the owl, would be great colored or painted just solid colors. He would be perfectly fine and cute as could be. Everybody has their own paint, paint style. But if you're not a, a big fan of painting, uh, I happen to love to paint more realistic if I am doing painting or if I am painting. And that just comes from, that's my art background, not my laser background. If I was, my laser background or my laser is not background, it's, it's very fresh. Um, more of the painting stain kind of thing is what I would go with. All right, now he is already except and I really wanted to have kind of the white whiskers, so we're gonna let that stay. So all I have to do now, and I can even do this, it, give him the white dot that's going to make the reflection in his eyes. My eyeballs are still wet. So you just get a little ball of paint on the end of it, it's okay. You just come in and, oh, that's a little big, but you know what? I'm okay with that. Big old reflection there. And, this little fella, once we spray it with clear, because I told you I spray everything with clear, the colors will come out more and look more dimensional, but he is done.